Hi, this is David Olson with the Nebraska Forest Service and I'm here on East Campus in Lincoln, Nebraska with a sycamore tree. Now, this spring you may have noticed that the sycamore were looking uh, quite rough. They were suffering from something called uh, anthracnose, which is a fungal disease that can impact the leaves of a number of different tree species, including oak, ash, and maple, um, as well as sycamore. Unfortunately, with sycamore, the damage can get uh, quite a bit worse and eventually the fungus can make it into small twigs and cause dieback um, on the tree. Now it's usually not a threat to the health of the tree overall. If the tree is otherwise healthy, it'll usually recover. And you can see this tree has actually been pushing out a second uh, flush of growth later in the season. We're now into June. So it's going to have leaves through the summer, just looking a little bit more sparse than it should otherwise. But keeping in mind that that second push of growth is also going to um, cost the tree quite a bit of energy. So it is going to put significant stress on the tree. And if these infections tend to persist, you will get dieback in the twigs, which um, can ultimately cause tree decline or at the very least uh, structural or aesthetic issues with the tree as well. So as I mentioned, anthracnose is a fungal disease. So when we're talking about a fungal disease, we're always referencing the disease triangle, which is going to mean that we're going to have to have a host, a pathogen, and the correct environmental conditions for the disease to actually manifest in the tree. In the case of anthracnose here, we have a suitable host, the sycamore. We have the pathogen itself, the anthracnose spores present in the spring. And then the correct environment is usually when temperatures are cooler in the spring as those leaves are emerging with plenty of moisture, which is what we had this year. So in that case, the spores are readily available out in the environment and they're going to infest the leaves of the tree and eventually um, cause the leaves to die when they're um, fairly small in size. You can actually see um, where these smaller leaves have died. And then if that persists, it can also cause small cankers and get into the twigs, which can cause dieback on the tree as well. Now, as far as treatment, there are some options available. Usually, if it's just one year, um, doesn't affect it that much, it's nothing to worry about. The tree will recover. But if it's occurring several years in a row, you notice that the tree um, has been pretty susceptible to this disease, you can spray the uh, emerging foliage with an antifungal compound as those buds are beginning to break in the spring. And then if rainy weather persists, you're gonna to wanna to repeat that about every seven to 14 days until they are fully mature and no longer susceptible to the disease. Another control measure that can be taken is to rake up and destroy any fallen twigs or leaves that have fallen to the ground because those could reinfest the tree the following spring. So as I mentioned, uh, some trees do tend to be more susceptible to anthracnose than others. In addition to sycamore, oak also tends to be highly susceptible and these are the two species of tree where we see the most damage potentially being done. Usually when it gets on other trees like ash and maple, it's mostly going to be an aesthetic issue. Now, if your tree is getting hit year after year, obviously a large tree like the one behind me is not going to be exactly easy or cheap to do a spray treatment on. In those cases, when you're considering planting a tree, we recommend going with a London plane tree um, instead of an American sycamore, especially if you've had problems with anthracnose in the past. The London plane tree is actually a hybrid species um, and several varieties of it tend to be more resistant to anthracnose, so it'll deal with the pathogen a little bit better. If you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe below as well as the bell icon next to it. That way you'll be notified when the Nebraska Forest Service releases new video material on everything from forest health issues to tree planning uh, videos to any other topics we may have in the lineup coming up.